guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a makeup tutorial on this look right here and I am so in love with this look. It just like screams fall to me, especially with like the red lips and like the leather jacket. I don't know, it's just something I've had in my mind for a while, like a vision. Now I finally sat down and filmed it today and I just absolutely love how this turned out. Hopefully you guys do too. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any requests or anything, um, leave it down in the comments below and I just love hearing back from you guys and I wanna film videos that you guys want to see. So yeah, I am gonna give you guys two different lip options today. One is obviously this bold bold red lip, which I'm so in love with, but the other one is going to be more of a neutral daytime color. It's definitely like just a nude, which I have to throw in like every single tutorial because I am obsessed with nude lips. It's kind of a problem, but anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I post new videos every single week. So yeah, thank you guys once again so much for watching and let's go ahead and jump into this bold glam fall makeup tutorial. Hello, so I'm starting off with my transition shade today and I'm just taking a very light amount of like a light peachy brown color. It's called Peach on Earth and it's by Tarte. It's from their holiday collection last year. I'm just taking this on a large fluffy blending brush and just dusting this lightly into my crease. And then I will go in with this Too Faced palette and I'm using the shade Fifi, which is just like a medium neutral brown shade. And I'm taking this on another large fluffy blending brush and just dusting this basically right over that peachy color. I'm going back and forth back and forth windshield wiper motions and I will bring this down onto the outer portion of my eyelid as well then I'm mixing these two shades from the Kat Von D shade and light contour palette I absolutely love using these as eyeshadows I'm just taking those on the same large fluffy blending brush and once again just going over the other two shades I've already packed on just to add a lot of dimension and depth to this eye look and I'm just bringing this on from the outer corner to the inner corner and again right on the very end of of my eyelid. Then I'm taking La Femme. I'm going back into that Too Faced palette and taking this dark brown shade on a smaller blending brush. This one is by e.l.f. And first I'm packing it onto the outer third of my eye and then I will slowly blend it into the crease but I don't wanna take this any further than the crease because this is such a dark shade that it could look really bad really quick. So just take your time with this step when you're using dark colors. You just wanna use a very light hand and the least amount of product. Then I'm taking that same Fifi shade and I'm packing this on to the middle of my eyelid. I am using just like a flat packer brush Brush. and I really wanted this look to be like more of an ombre effect so I want the darkest part to be on the outer portion of my eye and then fade into like the lighter shades then I will go back into that palette and use like this milky white shade I'm not sure the name but I will list everything down below and taking a smaller flat packing brush and just pack this onto like the inner third of my eye and bring it up into the crease don't worry if it looks a little weird we can always go back and add in more color which you will see me do in a second since I kind of covered up some of the darker shades with the milky white shade, I went back in with the small e.l.f. blending brush with just a little bit more of the La Femme color just to add some more color back into it because it kind of looked a little washed out and messy. I'm basically just repeating the process with the darkest shade, then I'll go to the middle shade and then to the lightest shade, just to kind of build up the color and get it looking the way I want it to look, which is obviously, like I said before, like the ombre effect, I want it to be really dark on the outer portion and then fade into that nice white bright color. After I get all the shades packed onto my eyelid the way I want it, I will just go in with no additional product on the large brush and just blend everything out so it's nice and smoky and everything's just very blended and seamless. Next, I'm taking my Kat Von D Tattoo Ink Liner in the shade Trooper and just drawing on my wing. I swear, I'm so bad at filming winged liner. It's just, it's a struggle for me. But that's just what I'm doing here just to make my eyes look a little bit more like cat-eyed and 
longer and yeah I guess <laughs> then I'm lining my lower waterline with the Sephora waterproof eye pencil I believe it is in the shade taupe but like I said I will list everything I used down below and then I'm gonna go in and smoke that out using that same small elf blending brush but I am using the shade Fifi I'm not using the darkest shade because I didn't want the lower lash line to be too intense because I just don't like when it looks so dark on me then I'm just going to add a quick coat of mascara. This is the Touch and Soul Mascara. It's my favorite bottom lash mascara. I've been using it for like almost a year now. I'm probably going to have to get a new one soon. For lashes, I'm using the Dodo Lashes. I guess that's how you say it in the, um, in the style D105. These are pretty lashes, but I'm going to have to say they are not the most comfortable ones to wear in the world, but they do add a lot of drama to the look, which I, I can appreciate that. I do feel like it brought the look together and made it look more complete. While I wait for the glue to finish drying, I'm going to highlight my inner corners. I'm going to take this pinky highlighter shade from the Carly Bible palette on just an e.l.f. like angled eyeshadow brush and just pack this onto my inner corner just to brighten it up and give it a nice little shimmer. On a really intense inner corner highlight, you can always wet your brush first with some MAC Fix Plus or anything like that. And then I'm going to take my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and just apply, okay, there was something on my wand, <laughs> and I'm just going to apply this to my lashes just to blend the real ones with the false ones. To fill in my brows, I'm going to use my handy dandy eyebrow stencil, which I just filmed a full tutorial on my eyebrow. If you want to see that, I will link it down below. I'm just filling these bad boys in with my e.l.f. taupe brow pencil, which is my newest obsession and for good reason. Moving to the face, I'm going to go back in with my Kat Von D contour palette and just going to bronze up the face a little bit just to give it some color and dimension. Absolutely love this palette. It's been a while since I've used it, but it's like my newest obsession once again. And of course, for highlight, I'm going to be using Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics because let's get real, I don't use anything else. I'm taking this on my Smashbox fan brush and just dusting this on the high points of my cheekbones just to give it a nice little glow. And for my first lip option, I'm going to first line my lips with the MAC Strip Down Liner, which is one of my favorites of all time. It's such a good um, lip pencil. I almost said eyeliner. And then I'm going to go over that with the MAC Peach Stock Lipstick. And this is a recent purchase for me, and I am obsessed with this lipstick. It is such a beautiful peachy nude color. It's so popular for good reason. It's just out of this world. And that is lip option numero uno, which I absolutely love because let's get real, it's a nude lip. And then for the second lip option, I'm going to go in with two liquid lipsticks from Ofra Cosmetics. The first one is Atlantic City, which is a deep, beautiful red. And what I'm doing is I'm basically, obviously applying it to my lips, but I'm focusing it more on the outer portion because I wanted to kind of create an ombre effect with my lip colors today. So that's why you see it almost looks like I'm putting on putting it on as a lip liner and then I will go over that with the Venice liquid lipstick which is a spicy fiery red and I oh my god I, I know I've said I'm obsessed with so many things but I'm so obsessed with this Venice color it's beautiful and that is my lip option number two. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what lip color you like best down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!